Hi guys, Christy here with Cake Couture Love. Thank you for joining us today. In this video, we are going to talk about the top three things you can do in order to prevent from hurting yourself when you are a cake maker. If you are new to our channel, we like to post videos on cake decorating, tips and tricks. We love to post inspiration. So let's jump into it. Number one is your turntable and your work surface. So what I used to use all the time was this Lazy Susan. I got this at Ikea. You probably recognize them. This one's white. I actually took mine and painted it white. So um, I really, I liked it. I used it all the time. It, you know, it's a lot cheaper if you need to buy yourself like 10 of these uh, than buying the big ex expensive like professional ones. So I bought a lot of these and I spent a lot of time like hunching over these because they're so low to the counter. Uh, so over time, I really hurt my back. It was also a combination of how uh, not ergonomically I was sitting at the computer so it was a combination of many things but this did not help that it was so low to the counter and I was always hunching over so finally upgraded to this guy the five inches here makes a big difference number two is if you work with fondant uh, fondant can be very very hard and difficult to work with you can see that it is super firm and like it's like who wants to massage this and roll it out not me so the way that you work with fondant is you need to heat it up you got to put it in the microwave for like five seconds maybe if it's if it's bigger if it's big you know 10 seconds you know it's a big piece and the microwave will soften it up so we're gonna do that real quick so this is really firm now i'm gonna put it in the microwave all right, so here's my microwave fondant. I put it in there for about 12 seconds. And yes, it can get a little sticky, but use some powdered sugar. And look how soft it is. It's so soft. Now I can like move it and there's no, you don't have to force yourself. It's just awesome. I love working with fondant and fondant is, um, it's too hard if you get it right out of the package. So I know someone who really hurt themselves in their hands um just using the fondant without heating it up so heat up your fondant and uh, have fun with that number three is your piping bag if you do a lot of buttercream piping you're probably your hands get really tired um, and it can be a chore to pipe things so i have found that cotton cotton bags uh lined in the cotton bags lined in silicone are the best uh, they are because the cotton fibers are like intertwined inside or on the fi fabric they are helping you to hold on to um the the buttercream and it's helping to kind of push the buttercream for you so i for many years have used um like this fabric that has a lot of give to it as well as like the silicone bags also have a lot of give but the cotton bags have like no give <laughs> so these are awesome i recommend highly recommend them is all we sell it on our shop because um that also i know a lot of people use plastic um plastic i think also has some give but for plastic i'm very much um into the environment and i really want to help protect our environment so we don't we don't like to use the plastic bags if if we can help it. So that's it. So the three things again were the turntable, uh, go with the tall ones whenever you can. I do still use the flatter ones when I wanna put fondant on. If I have to roll, put fondant on top of the whole cake, that can sometimes be helpful. But um, upgrade to that one for, for the buttercream. Number two was um, heat up your fondant so it's nice and soft without hardly any effort. And number three was uh, the cotton piping bag that's it for our video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you um it was helpful to you or somebody you know uh if you liked this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel follow us on facebook instagram pinterest uh thank you for joining us and watching and see you next time bye